Yeah, uh, many people will actually come to me and ask me how they start a career in ICT. Um, it's a very important question because the ICT is so broad and it can be quite confusing understanding what you need to do and where you need to start and how you need to go on climb the ladder of your career in ICT. I always have to tell people depending on what your passion is. One, what do you really, really, really want to do? Are you more of a creative person, a visual person who would like to see works? and um, create things that can be visually accurate? Or are you someone who would like to sit down on the system to be able to code and um, direct the computer on what to do and add some intelligence to what the software can be? Or are you also someone who can look through data and be able to see through the magnitude and make sense out of it? So the first thing is what your personal, what do you really think you can do? What really suits you? Are you the visual person, the creative person, are you the data drinking person? So and um, each of these areas that in the career you need to push on to the nicety. For instance, if you want to be a developer, um, if I tell somebody, okay fine, someone says you want to be a developer, but you see one thing also to the next thing is it's also become broad again. You should he be a mobile developer, a web developer, um, a desktop app developer. But one of the things I always keep saying to people that don't really matter is the platform. You can, the most important thing is do you really understand the core of software development? Do you understand the core of programming? That's the most important thing. Are you at home with the concepts that we call programming? And also, you see, another thing that gets people confused is the language. Do I become, um, do I write in C, C, Java, Python, Kotlin? Do I go into PHP, good, JavaScript? Fine. The very first thing that I keep also saying to this one, it doesn't really matter where you start, but some languages have a higher and a steeper learning curve. I will always advise somebody who hasn't done anything with the language to start basically with the web development platform. Development platform. So you start probably from learning basic design in HTML. And why this is so necessary on him learning basic design is this. When programming in C and you are running your code, so you are meeting a dark screen. It is not so interesting to the person who is starting programming. He writes a code and he wants and he gives him an answer and he just comes to It's not beautiful. It's not something you can show your friends. It's not, it doesn't have a wow factor. You can't even take it to your, your mom and say, Mom, I did this. But if you are starting up with design, you just could be writing a normal ETL page and designing a web page, for instance. You have something that is visually appealing that you can show to off to your friends. And the encouragement and feedback can help you spoil you to actually continue doing it and be able to continue when you beat the, the, the bone of programming, which is a hard part in your mental plan. And make your learning curve be less stiff so that it becomes a slow and easy process. So you can start with probably a web development, move up. After you have mastered your ETL, you can actually take on JavaScript. And if you do the JavaScript on the front end, you can move over also to do the JavaScript on the back end. Maybe do Node.js and React Native and things like that. Or you can also move over to other server side programming languages like PHP. Or you also move over to like, like uh, Python. Or you also do ASP and other back end languages. So it depends on what you want to do, but the matter, the question is, do you really understand the concept? Then also, people also say, fine, what else do I do with what else if I don't want to be a programmer? What else can I really do? Fine, there's a whole lot of applications you can learn and there's a whole lot of creative things you can do with the computer. Basically, working with videos, from creating the videos to editing it to doing effects on the videos is whole lot of huge industry and you know, even designing graphics that can be used on websites on social media and different has exploded over these years and this is an important aspect you can actually go if design is your core another aspect that is even pushing um, the, the boundaries of ICT now is the user experience the user experience and the user interface designs because most of us notice that everything that I've gone into being working on an app. And if it has to be an app, somebody has to define the user experience. And designing the user experience is so core, it's so fundamental to 
the design of any app. Now, that experience is one of the most important things you need to be able to design. And these are careers you can take on.